Hello everybody, I'm Jake Rambo, this is Flakito, and welcome back to FIFA Craft Friday. Flakito will take you over to the news. Yeah, hello everyone, starting off with the news, we got Roy, we got confirmation on his status. Unfortunately, he is only able to play one more game for France. So France really have to be strategic about how they're going to use him for the remainder of the season. And, Jake, what's the news on Khaki? Well, with Khaki at the minute, France have got some reinforcements. They've got a new goalkeeper who's been signed from Germany for two packets at first. That's cool original, and I don't know what the other one is. But all i got to say, they've got a bloody good goalkeeper to go in their team. Both teams definitely getting their money's worth from that trade. Unfortunately, however, Vashno has been banned. Even more bad news for France, as now they are down without their, their starting goalkeeper. Now onto the table, so we see that Germany and Portugal have both qualified for the playoffs. I think that's some um, some incredible news there. On to Flacco about the rest of the table. Yeah, Portugal move up one spot, Spain move down one, England and France still at the bottom. Interesting to see who will come out on top. Maybe we can get an upset from England or France. Breaking news has just come into the studio as Rogue Martin has signed for the French national side as a new goalkeeper. Moving on to our power rankings, we have after three long weeks, Eric moves up to number one, taking over Lee. Now we have second, Rabe. Third, Lee drops to the, to the third place spot. I'm still in eighth. I think I should have been moving up. Stop the cap. <laughs> Curry and Owen make their debut for the season, and now they are in the power rankings. Jake, you want to take over the goalkeeper list? Of course, uh, with the goalkeepers this week, we've got a newcomer in JTOX who made his debut with Portugal. Nothing new at the top, Mesa, Mr. Automatic, keeping his place. Big mover in Sakaki, shooting up to third place after his quite phenomenal performance against Spain today. And another big mover in the opposite direction, may I say, is actually myself, who has gone down two places to sixth. And may I say, Flacco, you're welcome for the carry today. Right now, if you follow me, we'll be going over this match day's results. Want to start us off? So first off, we have Spain 8, England 3. May I say England did not have their best day this match week. Uh, second off, we have Germany versus England 5-2. Again, England struggling at the minute. On to you. Yeah, and then we have Portugal with France. 10-4 for Portugal. Bit of a farm game that. 3-6 Spain versus Portugal. Another win for Portugal, which is actually our game of the week. And then finally, we have the 3-0 win for Germany over France. France didn't want to ruin their goal difference, so they just forfeited. Right, so as I previously mentioned, Spain versus Portugal was our game of the week, and we will be taking it over to Jake, who is pitch side currently, so let's see what he's up to. Hello everybody, and welcome to today's match of the day. I am here at the Olympia Stadion in Berlin, 10 minutes before kickoff. The fans are going wild! I will now pass it over to Eric and Flaquito in the commentary booth for your match of the day! Thanks, Jake. And it really is getting louder here. What do you think this game means to the players, Flacco? Yes, I mean, it's a battle for second place for both teams. I think we should have a great games on our hands. I'm excited to see it. This is the last time these two teams match. And on their way, he kicks it off all the way to Sukaki. Yeah, we should have a great game here. Take advantage of the new goalie line rule that's been implied, and he shoots it. Big save by Jake Ram. Decent shot whipped in. Great save. Tenma's wide open. He gives a good pass there. Tenma. Big save by Derek, it looked like. So Derek with a going. great defensive play there. Tenma looks for the long ball, finds Pepe. That's a and it's save. not far wide. Oh, that's a great save by Sokaki. Right that's there. a great save by Sokaki. And it's a big mistake from Tenma. Oh, at least 1 0. Cole Bowler scores. One of the top goal scorers of the competition. Hey, that's it. Playing such a good first two minutes. Oh, there's oh, another shot out and out it's in. Nowhere, out of nowhere, bottom corner. And finally, it's it out. Pro Bowler. There's a big turnover, Tenma. This is like a great turn there. That's a wonderful tackle right there from Pepe. From Pro Bowl, you usually expect him to tuck those home. Pepe. Goes for a shot. That's a great save. Great save from, from Sokaki. And another shot. That's a giveaway. And, and Pepe. And Pepe on the rebound. That's a world class goal by a center back. They, they know they have to conserve it now. Oh, that's a horrible pass from Jake Ramos. Oh, with Flacco with an open net. It looks like it's about to go in, but Jake Ramos fast to it off the line. Leading the attack, he goes for a wall shot over the bar, but that's perfectly placed to Pro Bowler's feet. Fine, Pro Bowler. Save. Flacco. There's a wall shot. It goes Plays over it in and it's the it's whole all of them. 
Oh my word. Lose it away and Robey running. And that is half time. It's a great half that. Yeah, 2 2. I think now we have a pitch side reporter to commentate on the half time. So, Jake, carry it away. What a strumdiddlyumptious half of football we just witnessed. It is 2 2 going into the break. And look at this. We seem to have a, the Spanish centre back Pepe training. Oh. Maybe don't do that in the actual game. Luckily for us at the minute, the fans have all gone inside for their pies and beer. Halftime pies and beer. I do wish I was there myself, to be honest. But, on to the game. 2-2 at the break with goals from Robbie, Pepe himself, the man we are watching training, and Pro Bowler. With 2-2, Spain are having the ball. Plays it at Pepe, and we're on their way. Derek looking for a shot here. Powering up Pro Bowler, good touch no, there. Ops for the pass. Turns and great save by Jake Rombo. That's world class position. Great save. And again. And he gives it away. He clears and it. And wide. There's a mess in the box. Tenma having to help out. Jake looking to thread the needle here. Oh, that's a horrible And he gives it away. That's a huge Bowler. mistake. Oh. And, through. and it crosses the line. Jake Rombo is not fast enough. And that is really, really costly in a game like this. Spanish players are shaking their heads here. Pepe really frustrated. Robe even more frustrated. Typing, I knew it in chat. That's a very bold statement. Yeah, he's a bit of a visionary. Yeah, he's trying to maintain his discipline. As oh, the ball's no. whipped in and it's a great save. Oh, but once again, misses the ball. That's a good shot. That's a wonderful shot. save. Could have been another costly mistake. Jake Rombo. Yeah, it's and it is! I and it is another mistake. It. We just called it and he walls it. And he just rolls it. He does use his protractor and hits the back of the net with that one. They're calling it for some repercussions. Jay Talk subbing in right now for Jake Rombo. Looks like those two errors were enough. Rombo collects. It's a great turn. That's a wall shot. That's a wonderful block by Jay Talk. He's gonna work on this defense. Flacco only has 40 ping. It's a Derek great ball from Rombo. Oh, and wow. Derek, a rare goal from Derek. Two rare occurrences there. A Derek goal and a Provo pass. It's not real. I think we're in a dream. Tenma. Must be a simulation. <laughs> Here goes Tenma and Rob. Robert They're scrambled over the line. Catches the Portugal it's defense easy. sleeping and nobody can get a hit on it. That's a questionable call. Everyone's looking at the referee for a decision. And the ball seems to be clear. After VAR review, Harry gives the goal and it is close game. It looks like the team kicked off right away. They have no time to waste. That was Desperation a shot from Rob there. As I said earlier, Bobo. this is a game of centimeters. And Pro Bowler beats Pepe to the tackle. And that's a goal. In an and he just has too much pace for, for, for Pepe. And if it wasn't clear before, that surely must be the dagger for Portugal. Does Portugal just try to see this game out? Tenma misses the ball there. To get a Gets him a shot. It's a great save from Stokaki. Wonderful save. Big block from Derek as well. And Robe stops playing. It looks like the referee's about to blow his whistle. That's a good shot. Off the post. Pro Bowler number one goes versus in. one. There's a ping battle. It's in. And it's in. Time is out. That is not going to count. And the final score of this game is 6-3. Wow. What a performance. And what a dramatic end to a match there. And Flacco, who do you think the matter of the match should be for this game? I think it can only be one person, really. I mean, Pro Bowl, four goals, one assist. Just a great display of what we all know he's capable of doing. Yeah, World Cup performance, I agree with you there, and we'll head you back to the studio. Don't go anywhere, guys, and we have an exclusive interview with Pepe interviewing Rabe, one of the top performance of today's Game of the Week. Well, thank you, Flacco. And now we have the post-game interview with Rabe. I think everyone wants to know how you felt after that tough loss. Uh, what do you think went wrong with Spain? You know, I think we started off very strong, but, you know, the shots just weren't going in. A uh, few mistakes in the back, but... You know, what's important is that we move past it. We beat ourselves that game, so... You know, as long as we don't repeat those mistakes, I'm very confident. Even with all of this, do you still believe in your team's ability to guarantee a playoff spot next match day? Yeah, I think we'll get a playoff spot. We're not going to lose both games by more than six, seven goals, whatever the, the gap is currently. I'm confident in my team. Well, you guys heard him, he's confident. Now back to you, Flacco. It has been an absolutely bloody riveting match day, if I do say so myself. What do you think, Flacco? Yeah, I think you're right. I think the game of the week really showed just how entertaining FIFA Craft can really be, don't you think? You read my mind. 
Well, thank you, everybody, for watching Friday Night FIFA Craft. I've been Jake. This has been Flacco. Thank you for having me tonight. Jake, any last words for the viewers at home? Not really. Only good night, everybody. Thank you for having me today. Jake, good night, any everybody. last words? Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching FIFA Night Craft. FIFA Night Craft. <laughs> Four or five goals. Truly just great display of his skill there. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to say war. <laughs> we'll be going to the field. Jake will be our courtside. Oh, courtside? Fuck. <laughs> yes, hello everyone. Uh, this is fuck. This is. This is fuck. Jake will head back to the studio. Wait, fuck. Am I retarded? Why am I talking to Jake? Fuck. <laughs> oh, short answer. Seems like your head is in the right place. Do you believe your team's ability? Oh, shit. <laughs>